Hello and welcome to this Power Query and SQL tutorial, also looking at Power BI, where we're looking at how we can replicate the in operator within Power Query using list.contains. But before we do that, I wanted to look um, actually within my SQL environment within SQL Server uh, and just see exactly what the in operator is and what we're going to try replicate and maybe power up within, within a single step in Power Query. So as you can see here, I'm in the Northwind database. It's publicly available for download from GitHub um, if you want to practice with this. But what I'm especially interested in is finding where um, we, we basically want to filter companies uh, by specific countries when we get into Power Query. And a good way of doing this in SQL would be to use in operator. So this is how we specify multiple values in a where clause uh, where we can filter our selected columns there uh, by the UK, USA, Spain, Germany and Sweden in our case. It's just a shorthand way um, of writing multiple OR conditions. So you can see here the results are there's 12 rows and we get the companies that we require um, in each of the countries that we specified. Um, and we're going to look at using this in Power Query uh, and actually adding a condition on and a custom column. So now that we know how that sort of works under the hood or what we're striving to sort of emulate, uh, we can actually go into Power Query by hitting transform data. And you can see here we have our Power Query editor open. So we have the initial query, which is just the suppliers uh, table from that SQL Server database I've just brought in. And I'm just going to duplicate and rename this because we're going to create a table um, just called fast track suppliers. So where the countries that we specified before in SQL, we're going to replicate this and look to create a custom column and um, that specifies which countries are actually fast track suppliers, uh, suppliers that can offer us fast delivery and which aren't. So we'll need to create a custom column and use some M code to try and emulate that in operator uh, and add some conditional logic there. So we can just call our new column fast delivery suppliers, uh, but we can use an if statement and we can use list.contains, which is essentially going to be uh, how we search for those multiple values in one sort of efficient piece of code, M code. Um, and we're just going to use the same values as before. So we'll have UK, USA, Spain, we'll go for Germany. And lastly, we will finish that off with Sweden. And we just contain that list there within our, our curly braces. And after that, we just need to specify uh, which column this is coming from. So that will be country in our specific table. Um, and then we just ap apply some conditions. So so what we want to happen, if those are present, um, the, the corresponding row in a new column will reflect as fast track delivery. Anything else that isn't there uh, will be reflected as a standard delivery. So fairly simple syntax there. Um, combining if statement and list.contains is, is essentially that link to the in operator uh, within SQL. And the reason I mentioned SQL, a lot of people are familiar with that, so it may be a nice way to sort of link into Power Query. Now we can see that that looks correct uh, as per the values that we stated. We can filter this data uh, by the fast track uh, delivery, and we can see that again, we have 12 rows uh, and if I look at this example below, which was our SQL uh, query result output, um, that is the same um, amount of rows. So we know that that's consistent across the, uh, the table as it should be. Uh, we can close and apply. This will load in. And this is also a great way to uh, reduce redundant data if we don't need the suppliers, improve performance a bit, um, and improve our general modeling um, data. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you.